what? You might not know this. <laughs> I didn't know it. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's November. It's December. <laughs> it's December. That likely is no surprise to most of you. But with the fluctuating temperatures these past several weeks, there are many days. Doesn't feel like December, but it is, and that means cold and flu season is coming next if it's not already here. However, there are ways for you to arm yourself against those pesky bugs. We're jumping into the Faith and Friends archives for today's Lost Creek Care Center Health segment. A year ago at this time, Dancy talked with Dr. Trudy Pieper about ways to build immunity against cold and flu. Maybe one of these tips will help keep you well this winter. We are entering the winter months and, and we kind of dread that because we're stuck inside and it seems if one of us is sick then, you know, chances are we may all end up getting something. Right. But there are ways to fight it, right? Absolutely. There's, there's five herbs I always recommend people have on hand for the winter season. Okay. And with these five herbs you're going to be able to solve just about every cold, flu, uh, cough, bronchitis that you may have in your family. Okay. And so just a little bit of knowledge will help you here with that. The first one I always recommend is nettles, also known as stinging nettles. And I like nettles because it's just the best multivitamin, multi-mineral you will ever have. In it, God created in such a way that every mineral and vitamin known to mankind is in stinging nettles. Hmm. So if, if no other use as is, is a way of bolstering your health besides your immune system is to take stinging nettles in capsule or you can drink it as a tea but it's high in iron and vitamin C. And that's the great combination because you cannot absorb iron without vitamin C. So God in his wisdom put the two together no and it's a very natural way of getting extra iron into your system. And we know iron is what we need for red blood cells, which gives us our energy in our bodies, not to not only fight off colds, but to give us the energy for life. Right. So right. Um, it also is great because um, it expels uric acid from the kidneys. So that's going to keep your kidneys and your urinary tract flowing and healthier. It's anti-inflammatory, so for people who have arthritis, it's excellent to drink a little nettle tea. It'll help you uh, clear out the, the uric acid and uh, the inflammatories that are in your system okay. so that you can move a little better. And it, it boosts your immune system. So this sounds like a, a no-brainer, yes. you know, so to speak, really, and especially for women. Yes, um, I like it particularly with women who are still um, menstruating, still having their periods. Okay. Every time you have a monthly blood loss, you need to replace that blood and iron's really important for that. Yes. Um, and you need an absorbable iron. Many times if you find an inorganic iron, it will constipate you and have all these extra problems. Iron's very easy uh, to get from nettles. Drink nettles tea, it, you can buy it at the health food store in tea bags. Just throw a tea bag in if you're already drinking tea, green mm -hmm. tea, which you know is one of the things yeah. my go-to. Yeah, yes it is. Drink your green tea, throw in a nettle bag with it and you can get your iron with that. How about elder? Elder, elderberry. Um, I, I always laugh and say, if you've got mucus, get sambucus. <laughs> and <laughs> sambucus is the Latin name for elderberry. Oh. And you'll see sambucus a lot in, in stores. There's a lot of products made for children that's sambucus. But it is the go-to for any mucus that you may have. It's from the honeysuckle family. It grows in all of our areas in your yard. You may have someone who has an elderberry bush. Get to know them well mm -hmm. so that you can go and you can capture the flowers bloom in late spring. You gather those up. They're great for fevers. If children have fevers, if you take the flowers, you brew them into a tea and give that to a drink, it will immediately break their fever. So it's great for that. It's also good, and I just recently had this. My two grandchildren came to see me this weekend, and they got they had pink eye, Aww. conjunctivitis. So yeah. uh, I didn't want it, and I didn't want them to have any more. So we brewed some flowers from the elderberries, and we put that in everybody's eye. Within 24 hours, everybody's healed and moving on. So just another tip That's with amazing. how amazing elder flowers will do that. Yeah. The berries are really good because they're, um, they inhibit the viruses from entering the cells. So it's the best viral uh, product that you can get. That and because uh, in medicine there are no drugs that'll treat viruses. If you have a virus, or you go see your doctor. He's going to tell you there's nothing I can do about it. Go home and you know yeah, drink right. li liquids. But actually, the sambucus, the uh, elderberry, will stop those invaders from getting into the cells. So having that on hand will stop your viral infections immediately. So, and it's tastes great, it tastes like berries. Really? So it's one of those products, a lot of times when we have problems with our children is to try to find something that they will take. Yes, yes. They don't like bitter medicine. 
but this is easy to, for them to take. We're running out of time. I want to mention these last two because I associate them with something totally different. <laughs> um, we own cats, so um, catnip is something that, that humans can take. Right, it's, it's mint and lemon. It's part of the mint family. It makes you cat friendly, which if you have cats, there you go. It's, it's, there's <laughs> oh, a positive boy. of that. It's loaded with vitamins C and E, which are antioxidants that fight off free radical damage, which causes illness. So it's important to have that. But mostly, why you want it in your arsenal for the winter is because it soothes the stomach and the nerves. So if you've got a little upset tummy and you feel a little nauseous, you might have a stomach flu, you need catnip to okay. do that. Okay, and then marshmallow, we don't just put it in our hot chocolate then, right? I know, people think that small little fluffy sugar cube, and yes. that's not, this is different, this is marshmallow, that's marshmallow. Oh, oh there and you go. And marshmallow is the root of a really pretty uh, plant, but it has this wonderful quality that it soothes membranes all throughout your body. So if you have cough, laryngitis, bronchitis, a cold, or hoarseness, uh, marshmallow will solve that problem. It, it soothes it and makes it easier uh, so you don't feel so rough there and um, calms it down.